motions of the earth. It seems as if the sun rises in the morning from the eastern horizon, goes overhead and then in the evening sets in the western horizon. In fact, this is not so. It is not the sun but the earth that moves. The sun is in the center and the earth goes around the sun. The earth has two important movements, rotation and revolution. Study at a glance. Rotation of the earth, revolution of the earth. Rotation of the earth. The movement or motion of the earth on its axis in 24 hours is defined as rotation. The axis of the earth is an imaginary line joining the North Pole with the South Pole. It makes an angle of 66 and a half degree with its orbital plane. The earth completes its rotation in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. The orbit of the earth is elliptical. The seasonal changes occur due to the inclination of the earth's axis. If the axis of the earth was vertical, then there would have been equal duration of day and night, that is, a 12-hour day and a 12-hour night. Causation of day and night The days and nights are caused due to the rotation of the earth. The earth receives light from the sun. Because of its spherical shape, only half of it gets light from the sun at a time. The portion facing the sun experiences daytime while the other portion away from the sun experiences night. Revolution of the Earth The Earth moves around the sun on a fixed path which is known as the orbit. The orbit of the Earth is elliptical and the Earth completes its revolution in one year, 365 and one-fourth days. Throughout its revolution, the Earth remains inclined on its orbital plane at an angle of 66 and a half degrees. Leap Year Six hours saved every year are added up to four years. They become 24 hours or one additional day. It is added to the month of February. It is because of this that every fourth year, February has one more day. 29 days instead of 28 days. Such a year with 366 days is called a leap year. Cycle of Seasons How are seasons caused? The earth revolves around the sun on an elliptical orbit. Its axis is inclined in the same direction east on its orbit by 23 and a half degrees. The revolution of the earth and the inclination of the earth's axis in a fixed direction cause seasons. A year is divided into four seasons. They are spring, summer, autumn and winter. Seasons change with the change in the position of the earth around the sun. Summer Solstice On 21st of June, the sun's rays fall vertically on the Tropic of Cancer as the North Pole remains inclined towards the sun and South Pole is away from it. There is summer season in the Northern Hemisphere and winter season in the southern hemisphere. In the northern hemisphere, it is the longest day and shortest night, while in the southern hemisphere, it is the shortest day and the longest night. This position of the earth is called summer solstice. Winter solstice on 22nd December, the Tropic of Capricorn receives direct rays of the Sun and the Southern Hemisphere tilts towards it. On this day, 
the sun shines vertically on the tropic of capricorn 23 and a half degrees south hence a larger portion of the southern hemisphere gets light it is summer in the southern hemisphere with longer days and shorter nights the opposite conditions are prevalent in the northern hemisphere this position of the earth is called winter solstice spring and autumn equinoxes on 21st march and 23rd september the sun shines vertically on the equator in this position neither of the hemisphere is tilted towards the sun so the whole of the earth experiences equal days and equal nights it is neither very cold nor very hot all over the world the northern hemisphere experiences spring on 21st march and autumn on 23rd september exactly the opposite happens in the southern hemisphere here it is summary the earth has two motions rotation and revolution the spinning of the earth on its own axis from west to east is called rotation this motion causes day and night the moving of the earth around the sun in its fixed orbit is called revolution this movement gives rise to different seasons